Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to install a voltage sensitive relay. First, let me explain what the voltage sensitive relay does. It allows two batteries to be charged at the same time. When the engine is started and that the start battery reaches 12.8 volts, the VSR engages and allows two battery banks to be charged at the same time. There are many types of VSR. In this video, we'll see the single VSR and we'll talk about also the dual VSR. All right, like the usual, let's connect all the grounds so the ground is out of the way. Don't forget, you can pause this video at any time if I'm going too fast. All right, we're going to start connecting the VSR. We're going to take the positive of the starter battery and connect it to the ENG prong with the red dot on it of the VSR. We're going to add the fuse to protect our VSR. And now we'll connect the other prong of the VSR. We'll take the positive of the house battery and connect it to the BAT prong of the VSR. Don't forget to add a fuse to protect your VSR. Like the usual, I will take a second to ask you guys to like and subscribe. Thank you for your support. All right, we're done connecting the VSR. We're gonna take the red wire of the engine and connect it to the positive side of the starter battery. With that done, we're gonna go on the house battery and connect the positive side of the fuse box to the positive side of the house battery. And now the only thing left is the water pump. We'll connect it on the positive side of the house battery. Now, let's say this is a single VSR. I'm gonna explain a bit what goes on with this VSR. As you can see, I added two orange arrows that shows an open bridge on top. When the voltage reaches 12.8 volts on the engine side of the VSR, the bridge will close, which will make the voltage pass to the house battery. At this point, both batteries are being charged by the alternator. Now, as soon as you shut off your engine, your voltage will drop under 12.7 volts and your VSR will reopen again and both battery banks will be independent. Now, let's do the same exercise but with a dual VSR. As you can see, the bridge is open right now, but this time there are two switches to this bridge. Whatever side reaches 12.8 volts, it will close the bridge and make the voltage pass through, so both batteries will be charging. For the dual VSR, as soon as both sides become less than 12.7 volts, the bridge is open and both batteries become independent. Now let's move this wiring diagram to the top and we'll add a charger to this system. Since our last example was a dual VSR, we'll connect our charger to the house battery. So we'll take the black wire and connect it to the ground, to the bus bar, and then we'll take our red wire and connect it to the plus of the house battery. So what's gonna happen with this example is, as soon as you plug in your charger, your voltage will be higher than 12 Point eight volts. So your VSR will close the bridge and both your starter and house battery will be charging off the charger. I hope this video helped you guys to understand how a VSR works. If you have any questions, write them below. I will answer. Thank you. See you guys soon.